So every year, the vines are gonna throw up all of this new growth. And after we pick the grapes, the leaves fall off and that new growth goes dormant and turns into wood. Our goal during the winter is to cut back all this wood. If we don't do anything, it'll keep growing every year like a big, well, wild vine, like a bush. But by cutting back the wood and just picking one cane, like this one, which will attach to the supporting wire, all of next year's growth will come from this one cane. And that's why it's called a cane prune. Here, we've got a vine that's already been pruned. So all of the growth from this year has been cut off, except for this one wooden cane. And the idea is that all of next year's growth comes out of this one cane. And then on this side, you have a tiny piece, and this is gonna be the cane for the year after. Normally up here, I only leave two big canes and they stay permanently, but I left this guy in case I want to replace this one with a younger shoot next year. Plants in general, and vines especially, are great because the more you beat them up, the better they treat you. Like we spend half the year chopping off their arms and cutting them back and, and they make better wine for it. They appreciate it. <laughs> they play rough. <laughs> It's a little less interesting, but uh, it's a necessary part of the job. So we do it, we do it. And you just think that you only have one, one vine at a time. You try to forget that you own like 10,000 vines. Because <laughs> otherwise it's a little depressing to think how slow it goes. But it's a fun job. And every time I take a second to look up, you got the Pyrenees behind me and it's, it's hard to complain. I think any winemaker who complains too much should just get struck by lightning because we have pretty cool lives. <laughs> <laughs>